No two people use Capture One in quite the same way, so it makes sense that you can customize the interface to suit your needs. Capture One is split up into four different areas. The tools, viewer, browser, and toolbar. Each of these can be customized or even moved to different areas of the workspace. Most customization options can be found in the view menu, so let's start there. Note that each element of the Capture One interface has a customize option. Options in here can include where to position it in Capture One's interface and change the appearance. For example, the browser could be moved below. Note some display or customization choices can also be made in the interface itself. In this example, I would prefer to have the browser as a strip, which I can change here. Let's see what's possible in the tools and tool tabs. By default, Capture One represents the various different tools by category in different tool tabs. For example, adjustment based tools are here. Each tool tab has a fixed, and scrolling section. Move tools between these sections indicated by this thicker black bar with a simple drag and drop. The order of tools can also be changed. Floating tools can be made simply by dragging them out of the tool tab into the viewer. It's a good approach to remove tools that you don't use to tidy up your workspace. To remove any tool from any tool tab, click here and choose Remove Tool. Equally, add any tool to any tool tab by right clicking and choosing Add Tool and picking from the list. It's even possible to create a whole new tool tab. Click here and choose Add Tool Tab, Custom Tool Tab. First pick a name and icon for your tool tab. And populate it with tools. And as a reminder, simply right click anywhere and choose Add Tool. As I'm going to populate this tool tab with a few tools, I'll first make sure it's in the scrollable area. To change the order of tool tabs, command or alt drag them to a new position. If you prefer smaller tool tabs, change to icons only here. To customize icons in the toolbar, choose Customize from the view menu mentioned earlier or simply right click anywhere on the toolbar. Then any icon can be dragged onto the toolbar. Even though any workspace changes you make will be present the next time you start Capture One, an additional option is to save your workspace. Do this from Window Workspace. There's no limit to the number of workspaces you can save. Consider having workspaces for different tasks or for whether you're working mobile, in the studio, or at home. Finally, if you're working with dual screens, you'll also find an option to add an additional viewer in the window menu too. This additional window can also be customized in the same way.